Okay, what's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition. Who knows? We will find out. So, in our last episode, we came here to Saffron City and uh, defeated our girlfriend, Sabrina, for our 10th badge. Now, if you guys want to see the 10th badge, we can't. You guys, you guys can see it on the side view right here, but in this game, they don't really update that until, you know... Our gold, soul, silver, and all that stuff. Now, here's something else that really messed me up. If you guys are trying to look for a Houndour, this is the area to go to at night. Do you not see why I traded for a Houndour? Do you not? Do you guys now not see? Yeah. So, let's go ahead and uh, before we do anything, look at this. Okay, so if you guys remember, this is the secret underground place. What's this fire? The Conf trainers have been holding battles in the underground path. Because of rising complaints by local residents, the underground path has been sealed indefinitely. Sell it on police. That kind of sucks. Yeah, it's locked. So, again, a lot of stuff, a lot of places have been uh, locked out or just been taken away and all that stuff. And, well, here we are, guys. Sell it on city in all its glory. Yes, it hasn't changed a bit. And, uh, well, maybe if you talk to this guy, he's like, this Polyrath is my partner. I wonder if it'll evolve into a frog Pokemon. Oh, look at that. It's kind of a, you know, kind of a, whatchamacallit, a, kind of, kind of a, a forewarning of something to happen and all that stuff. Now, uh, I'm going to be using the bike because there might be a few things that we can actually find around here. So let's see. Let's go right above here. And there's a, there's, there's a, there's a secret entrance. I think there's a hidden item right here somewhere. No, there's not. Okay. Let's go right upstairs. If you guys remember, this place was the location where you can actually get yourself a free Eevee. And, well, let's see. So to this individual, he's going to be like, let me recount a terrifying tale. Then again, it's not a scary while it's still light out, or it's not scary still when there's still light outside. Come back after your sunset, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm not really going to... I'm not, I'm not going to come back ever. The story was, you know... Somebody going down a hill, up a hill, or something like that with their bike, and I guess the bike was like going down. It was probably like... It was probably because uh, it was going uphill to something, and then next thing you know, bam, they figured out they were in the cycling road. So really, it's not a, it's not a scary story. So, let's go right in here, and my dear Pokemon keep me company, so I don't ever feel lonely. Meowth even brings money home. That is true, because, well... It's payday ability, and quite frankly, later on, it's pickup ability, and I am not going right here, but if you go straight up, you will be finding the the, the Game Shark dudes, or the, ga the Game Freak guys. Is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokedex is tough, but don't give up. Okay, talk to this guy. I'm the graphic artist. I drew you. Okay. Aren't the aren't the tri twins adorable? Jasmine's pretty, uh, pretty too. Oh, I love them. Yeah, she does, or he does. And let's see, it's a game program with the. Okay. And let's see. Who? Me? I'm the programmer. Play the slot machines. Yeah. Should I play the slot machines? I don't know. And well, if you talk to this guy right here. High places. I do love them so. I'd say the only thing that loves the high heights as much as me is a smoke. Okay. Alrighty, so. <laughs> it's probably kind of a weird thing. Probably kind of a weird thing to just actually come out, come by over here. Yeah, there really isn't anything that you can do except, you know, you can find yourself the the Pokemon right here. There's a lot of uh, cool items that you can actually get. Talked to this lady right here. Talked about the Celadon department. It's pretty cool. And, well, the sales cloak and all that stuff. And if you go right here, this is the dude that will actually give you... Well, back in the past, is a, he'll be the dude that gives you the move for, you know, chances only. But if you go onto the little lake set right here, you're going to be finding yourself some wild Grimer. And, well, let's see. We're going to get off of this right here. And talk to this guy. He's like, Grimer have been appearing lately. See that pond out in the front of the, uh, of the house? Grimer live there now. Where did they come from? This is a serious problem. It is. It kind of is a serious problem. I didn't know that this was a pond. I thought it was like a little river bend or something like that. Anywho, uh, let's see. What kind of prizes can we get? Let's see. Welcome. 
exchange coins for fabulous prizes. You can get three cool items. I believe that is Hyper Beam. Oh, TM29 Psychic and TM32. I do not know which one of that is, but it must be something rare. And if you go for the Pokemon right here, you'll get yourself a Pikachu, a Porygon, and a Larvitar. So, yeah. I could go for a Larvitar. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. And, well, nothing's changed right here, but if you talk to this guy, he's like, Hey, champion of making! Are you playing the slots too? I'm trying to get enough coins for a prize Pokemon, but I don't have enough coins yet. And if you're funny, then you can go, hey, underneath this poster, there's nothing. <laughs> you thought. And it's doing the same thing right here. So the funny thing is, guys, this used to be Team Rocket's hideout, but unfortunately now it's become a legitimate place of business and all that crud. <laughs> Oh god, okay, so really there isn't there really isn't a lot that you can actually get right here guys So we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some Pokemon now First things first. I think if you talk to this individual right here It's you and he's like hi I'm back visiting my hometown. It's been quite a while Draven have you heard there have been r fresh rumors of a rainbow colored Pokemon appearing in the tin tower I've just had my party healed, so now I'm headed back to Ecrotech City. I'll be seeing you then, Draven. So, the only way that could ever happen is if you have all three legendary dogs in your Pokedex. Captured. Ready to go. That's that's kind of why we did this whole, you know, wild Pokemon chase and all that stuff. Because, well, we kind of need to get this done quickly and all that stuff. So... That activated the Tin Tower, so we'll be back there later on. This guy right here is like, Team Rocket's hideout is in the basement of the uh, game corner. Oh wait, that was three years ago. Yeah, I kinda know that. Anywho, let's go right ahead and switch out some Pokemon. And with switching out some Pokemon right here, we kinda... We kinda need a Pokemon that needs cut right here. So let's see, we're gonna keep Hera, we're gonna keep Toad Breed. Chico might be the odd man out, so we're going to be taking Chico there. Fluffle... Fluffle looks like the kind of Pokemon that needs to be taken out. And we're going to grab two Pokemon. One being Ultra Psycho, because, well, we're going to be seeing some Poison-type Pokemon. And the next Pokemon right here is Godzilla Godzilla. Oh man, that do I miss you. Now, there is one Pokemon that we need to get. Uh, well, we need to move from the, uh, without mail. And that is a Pokemon that knows cut, because, uh, yeah, that right there is just a... Why do we still need to cut things? Okay, so, let's see. Who is the Pokemon that I talk cut to? Let's see. Can't be Ninjor. Let's see, stats. Alright, there's Ninjor. No, it doesn't know cut. Remember when I wanted to use uh, Ninjor as a Pokemon? Me too. I have the I have the, the I have the metal coat now, so I could probably evolve them if I wanted to. Here we have the other Ultra Psycho, and let's see, Nessie. Okay, not that. Tyrog. Chia dude. Let's see, what Pokemon did I teach? Raikou. I guess many of you guys are still mad about that. All right, we're gonna go with Paris right here because I think it's the Pokemon that we gave cut to. So let me see. Let me see. Let's see, let's see. Does it have cut? Yes, it does. Okay, bring it on, Sabrina. Or, actually, it's Erica. I am excited, guys. I'm very, very excited. So let's go straight to the gym and see what we can actually do there. So, let's see. No, not right there. We're, you know what? We gotta go on our bike, seriously. I do love my walking, but yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna be cutting this thing down right here. And bam, we're cutting it down. And now we're going into the next the next gym right here and well we got this guy right here he's like <laughs> this gym is great only girls are allowed here yeah creepy bastard okay so actually before we battle the twins this won't be a double battle let's go right ahead and assert our 30 real quickly let's go with the uh, Godzilla right here that's right get a lead in the land and uh, yes beat these girls right here we're going to protect Erica Okay, alrighty, bring it. So here we are, taking on twins Joe and Zoe. And uh, yes, they will be coming out with a vile plume right here. This Pokemon, this Pokemon's been giving me issues sometimes. But 
guess what? Flamethrower. For the win! Alrighty. Look at that. Flamethrower. Getting the flamethrower. And, well, Vile Plume has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Okay. So what's next? Victory Bell is coming out. So let's go ahead and use another Pokemon. Let's go with, uh, you know, Godzilla's uh, partner in crime, Hira the Hell Dog, right here. Drinking some water, too. Alrighty. Another flamethrower, too. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay, look at that. Flamethrower. Defeated. Okay. And, well, there we go. We got a little bit... <laughs> a little bit more experience points and all that stuff. Alright, they couldn't win. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and give Togepi a little bit of, a, of love and get it to level 50. And, well, let's see. Right here. Oh, a battle? That's kind of scary, but okay. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on a picnicker, Tanya. And she's coming in with her executor. Look at this guy. Super Saiyan hair, three heads, and about to be flown off. Oh, yes. Okay, Togepi. Let's get this. Let's fly attack right here. And there we go. What now? What now? And, well, here comes a confusion attack. So we did forget that, you know, the Executory is also a psychic type Pokemon. And, wow, the stream deck just popped up. Are you serious? <laughs> My bad, guys. Okay, so enough of that. So let's go ahead and go with a Shadow Ball right here. And, bam. Look at that. Executor has been defeated. And we get some more experience points. Togepi is now at level... Well, level 50. Alrighty, okay, so... That's it. Yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna get another phone call. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, and well, we're ready to go right here. And you know what? Let's give uh, Togepi another love right here. Do you think a girl's only gym is rare? Not really. Not really. I mean, I think there was a... Well, probably this one right here. I don't know. Probably. I don't even know. What do you guys think? Is it rare? Is it not rare? I don't know. Alright, let's go with the fly attack. Let's finish this po Pokemon up right here. Fly attack. And the fly attack is going for the win right here. And Skiploom has been defeated. Look at you. Okay. And well, let's see. We got three Pokemon. Might as well use all three. Let's go ahead and use Hera. Yes. Mm-hmm. Alright, Jump Love. You're looking pretty jump lovey right there. Didn't know you were a flying type Pokemon until later on, but guess what? Here we go. Flamethrower for the win. And there we go. Okay, alrighty. Jump Luff has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So let's see. Who's next right here? Oh yes, the hop hip. Oh crap baskets. Okay, so that would be uh, totally unfair. You know what? Let's give Paris a little bit of loving. Hop hip. Look at that. Okay, hop hip. Let's give, to, you know, let's give Paris a little bit of levels, okay? Yeah, that's right. I got bug. I got a bug Pokemon right here. And let's go ahead and switch it out. Hmm. Let's go with Torpedo. Screw it. It's a dragon type Pokemon. You can't affect it. All right, dragon type Pokemon. Here's the lead seed. <laughs> Your leech seed won't affect me. Let's go. Icy wind. And just like that, icy wind. For the win. There you go. Hoppip has been defeated. Alrighty. And bam. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. And Torpedo's trying to learn Hydro Pump here. Okay. So, here's something about... Like, here's something about me. Hydro Pump, it is a very, very powerful Pokemon. In fact, any kind of the, well, any kind of powerful Pokemon uh, move, like Thunder, uh, Fire Blast, Hydro Pump right here, I normally bail out on them for the more accurate moves because, well, you know, they're more accurate. <laughs> you definitely need a, you definitely need a move like Rain Dance or Sunny Day to actually make them more a accurate and all that stuff, and... That's not me. I'm not more. I'm not very strategic and all that stuff. Okay, so here we go. 
We're gonna be going up against one more trainer. Let's go ahead and give Ultra Senko a little bit of uh, love right here, too. All right, bring it on. I want Erica to see this. Were you looking at the flower, or these flowers are at me? Can I look at both? Can I? Can I look at both? Probably, okay. So here we go, taking on the beauty, Julia. And she's coming out with the Paris. Okay, crap baskets, all right. Here we go, Ultra Psycho. What's up? Let's get it. Psychic attack right here. And just like that. Oh, yes, Paris. Getting its butt kicked, all righty. Yeah, that's right, Erica. I want you to see what happens, okay? Uh, she's, she's coming out with a Parasect, so let's go straight for Godzilla Godzilla right now. Alrighty. So here it is. Big old mushroom head right there. And we're gonna be going straight for Godzilla. Look at that. Okay, so let's go for a flamethrower. Alrighty. There we go. And Parasect. Just getting its butt kicked again, too. There it is. More experience points, and, well, Julia's coming with an execute. Let's go with another Pokemon right here. Let's go with Paris. Look at him. Just look at this Pokemon, Erica, and just see that I am taunting every single one of you girls. I am taunting you. And, well, let's go switch him out right here, and Torpedo again. Yes. Torpedo. Dragon-type Pokemon. And here comes the poison powder. Well, guess what? Torpedo don't care. Torpedo don't care. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for the icy wind. And... Oh, crap, baskets. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> being a little too cocky for our own good. Oh, my God. Okay, so here we go. Icy wind. Time to feel the burn right here. And... Just like that. Execute has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. And look at that, level 9 for Paris. <laughs> Learning moves, getting experience points, and all that stuff. There you go. Okay, so we got one more trainer. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. We, Yeah, it's only a must. And since we only have full restores, let's go right ahead and go with Torpedo right here. Okay. Bring it. Hello, lovely weather. Isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of the Celadon City Gym. Oh, all the way from Johto? You say? Hmm, how nice. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. I love this music. Okay, so, here we go. We're going up against our 12th gym leader, or no wait, can't count, 11th gym leader. Here we go, Erica, looking lovely as always, and she's coming out with this big old ball of Tangela. Let's go. Bring it. Alright, psychic deck for the win. That's right, feel it. Feel the wrath of Arceus. There you go. And just like that, Tangela has been defeated. Alrighty. Look at that. Everybody's going to get a, a touch right here. And here she's going to be coming out with a jump bluff. Let's go with Godzilla Godzilla. Bring it. Okay. Godzilla Godzilla. Alrighty. You remember jump bluff? It called you... Well, it, it called you not a dragon, so you should probably take a, take a little issue with that. So there we go. Flamethrower. There it is. And, well... Jump Love defeated. Alrighty, and look at this. Level 55, it's first level after Pokemon Yellow. Alrighty, bring it. Blossom is coming out. This is another Pokemon right here. Let's go with Togepi. Bring it. Okay, so here we have the Hula Hula Pokemon, Blossom. You can actually you can actually evolve a gloom with the Sunstone with this Pokemon, and well, we're gonna be flying. So go right ahead and do something about that. And here comes a sunny day. Now, be aware, guys. Sunny day can be a skip turner for solar solar beam if, you know, you come across a grass-type Pokemon or anything. It does increase the attack for fire-type Pokemon. And, well, look at that. Solar beam. 
I learned this when I was battling Red back when I was a kid. And trust me, I was like, wait, you can do that? That's a good strategy right there. And here comes another solar beam attack and it doesn't work. Holy crud, alrighty. And she's gonna be going with a hyper potion right here, so bring it on. Fly attack. Alrighty. And Blossom, you're gonna you're just gonna get yeah, it only lasts for five turns. You're about to get destroyed right here. She's coming out with the solar beam. Doesn't work. Sunlight has faded. Eat this fly attack for the win. Oh yeah, don't forget. Sunny Day can actually weaken the attack or the attack for water type Pokemon too. So just be aware of that too, guys, if you wanna go all strategic. And well, we're gonna be going up against Victory Bell, so let's go with Hera. Bring it. Alrighty. Let's go. Hera, how's it going? You see that? Called you a goat. That's right, it called you a goat. So here we go. Flamethrower for the win. And just like that, Victory Bell has been defeated. Oh my god, level 51. You gotta love it. You really do have to love it. Okay. So Erica has been defeated. She's like, oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I shall give you the rainbow badge. Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> Look at that. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am literally throwing out that peace sign. All right. That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM. It is Giga Drain. It is a powerful or a wonderful move that drains half the damage it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. Please use it if you please you. And look. Look at that. Mm-hmm. TM19. Giga Drain. A pretty cool attack right here. Losing leaves a bitter aftertaste. But knowing that they are strong, uh, strong trainer spurs me to do better. Hmm. You think so, huh? Alrighty, so that right there is number 11. So we got three badges in a row. I am not going to use that cut technique, so let's go right ahead and use Godzilla Godzilla. Look at that, we can fly anywhere we want now. So here we go, Celadon City. There it is. Bam. Anywho, guys, we got another place to go to in the next episode, and it, I'm kind of feeling like going to Fuchsia City because we kind of need more gym badges. You know, kind of go halfway with the gym badges. Yeah, we're going to have to go through Cycling Road. We're going to have to do all that stuff. In the next episode, we will be going through Cycling Road, but I will be speeding up the battles because, well, yeah, there's a lot of trainers out there, maybe, I don't even know. But it will conclude with us going into the cycling road and beating everybody right there. So, thank you guys again for watching this episode. Thank you guys for being patient and supportive. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. See you guys.